Hi there, Toby here. So I thought it might be a fun idea to do a little series on uh, meditation and mindfulness Q&A. So I asked people to write in with their questions and one question that I received, in fact it was the very first, is what does meditation do? Question mark. Which I thought is kind of funny really because in a certain sense the point about meditation is to help you to, to be rather than do. Uh, so in terms of what does meditation do, it helps you to be. So that's a that's an initial kind of funny answer. Um, by discovering uh, being, we then find different ways of doing and participating that hopefully will be rather more fun and somewhat more effective than our previous ways of doing things, because it's balanced out by the sense of presence and being that comes from the practice of meditation. So that's one answer there. Uh, the other answer, I mean, that there are a few answers that occurred, but the, the one I want to talk about is uh, meditation as state training. So what does meditation do? Well, if you understand that meditation is state training, then that gives you a sense of its, its potential in, in terms of uh, its, its ability to help you to change your capacities uh, with regard to your, your mind, your life and your experience. So meditation is state training and it's designed to help us do three things. So first of all, it's designed to help us to navigate the difficult states that we experience as we go through our day more easily and more effectively. Secondly, it's helping us to uh, consolidate and strengthen the current positive states that we have access to. Finally, it helps us to build variety and variation across a range of different states that we may not currently have within our repertoire. So when you're talking about states, you're talking about states of body-mind, not just the states of mind, states of body-mind. And there are a tremendous number of different states that we find ourselves in during the day. States of relaxation, states of stress, states of caring and warmth, states of resentment, states of uncertainty and anxiety, states of confidence and assertion, states of sleepiness, states of uh, lucidity and consciousness, uh, states of acceptance, states of non-acceptance, the, the list goes on. Okay. Uh, nominally, you know, we experience some of these states as positive, some of them as negative, uh, but the point about practicing meditation is you're training yourself in states of mind and body in order to improve the uh, quality of the states that you go through as you as you go through the day and as you go through your life. So first of all meditation is designed to help us to navigate difficult states. So when you feel stressed how do you work with that stress more effectively that state of stress? When you feel sad how can you navigate that? How can you work with that rather than against that? in order to help you to get through it and, and perhaps find the value from the sadness. When you're feeling angry, when you're feeling uh, resentful, when you're feeling uh, a lack of confidence, how can you navigate those states? So meditation is you're experiencing that state, that difficult state, and you're learning to navigate it more smoothly and effectively by principally by strengthening the, the functional power of your conscious mind, your ability to be aware, and working with what is rather than uh, fighting with it. So first thing that meditation does is it helps you to navigate difficult states of body-mind uh, more effectively. Second thing that meditation is designed to do is to, it's designed to help you to strengthen through meditation training the current positive or uh, enjoyable states of mind that you experience. So let's say you're already quite good at confidence, you're already quite good at being courageous, you're already quite good at uh, basic joy, then you can meditate on those in order to make them stronger. So this is kind of the same thing as if you were, if you're a st already quite a strong runner and you wanted to get better at it, you would you go through a, a series of conditioning exercises in order to become to achieve the the target that you wanted uh, in your running. So same thing, you can get better at things your at states of body mind that you're currently quite good at already uh, through meditation by training specifically in those states to st and strengthening the, the, the current areas of those states that you're not that good at. So you can get better at what you're already where you at what you're already fairly competent at. 
So the, the further type of uh, function thing that meditation can do for you is it, it can help you to increase your range of states. So at the moment we all have a, a range of states of mind that we're familiar with, that, we're comfort, that are in our comfort zone. Uh, so I mentioned before, uh, joy, confidence, uh, courageousness. Let's say a person already has those, but they're not very good at uh, expressing care, uh, basic warmth towards people. Uh, they're not very good at being calm. They're not very good at other, a, a few other states that they might like to become better at. It might be nice to, you know, to be calmer. It might be nice to, you know, to be able to express care more effectively. So you can train in meditation to give yourself access to uh, states of body mind that are currently beyond your comfort zone or you're not very good at. So you practice in meditation in order to access those states. You drop into them nice and deeply in the med in meditation itself. And then from there, once you have some familiarity, you can then go out and express those states with other people uh, and as you go about your daily life. So that's the answer for today. So what can meditation do? What can it do for you? It can help you to navigate your difficult states of body-mind more effectively. It can help you to consolidate your uh, current range of positive states and it can help you to increase your variety uh, of different positive and enjoyable states that you can access in your life and put to use. So I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you next time.